between the time of Asr and Maghrib, this is what we call the prime time. This is the Uruj time. This is the pinnacle. This is the time when Allah's immense rahmas descend on people. And the person who is ghafil now, then most verily the whole of the day's fast and the earnings contained therein, he has not attained. And this, especially this time between Asr and Maghrib, especially in Ramadan, the individual should be careful because at this moment time the person's tired after fasting. It's such a time where people have worked, they're tired, and those who don't work are tired, and those of people have thirsty, uh, people are thirsty and are hungry. It's the peak of hunger and thirst, and laziness, or maybe sleepiness or tiredness, and a person, whatever situation he's in, he's in the state of weakness. So Allah Ta'ala likes that when a person is in this uh, situation, that when he remembers me, Allah says, then I'll give him more reward. This gathering, this emotion, this status, who is praising this? This gathering in this time, in this month, this special time, who's praising this? Allah Azza wa Jal. He is praising this time. Allah Ta'ala says that when a person, when a person, or a group of people rather, a group of people, a number of people, a jamaat, when they get together, it's called what? A gathering. If a, pe- a group of people get together in any place, in any place, and after gathering together, when those individuals who formed a gathering, when that jamaat remembers me, Allah says, and does my dhikr, and remembers me, now Allah is mentioning that kafir. Allah Ta'ala is mentioning, that time the hal is what? What is that? The Allah Ta'ala says, I love that jamaat so much. And obviously Allah Ta'ala's muhabbat is what we want, we want to gain. That's the jackpot. Allah Ta'ala says, I love that group of people so much who are gathered to remember me. The straight away the angels in the heavens, they see my love towards that gathering. The people in that gathering, Allahu Akbar. Let's great. The how much I love that jamaat at that time, those people who are sat to remember me. Allah says, my feeling and my love and my, 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 my belovedness to that to those people, the high-ranked angels immediately descend to the earth and they surround that gathering of the Dhakri. And who is describing this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why I said this is that great ni'mah that we cannot mention by words or imagine in our brains. What is this time? Ramadan, first day, initial day with the Fadl level. And if the start is good, then the end is also good. So what do they do? The angels surround the gathering from all sides, Allah Ta'ala says. And, and on top of that, what happens then in addition? Allah Ta'ala says that my rahmah, my mercy, sees the dhakirin in the gathering, and my rahmah uh, gets stronger. And then Allah says, my rahmah surrounds them and overwhelms them. So first the angels descend, they surround the gathering, and then Allah's rahmah is surrounds and, and wraps around that gathering and then Allah's special reward descends. And this will be the reward which will be given to the jannatis. There's a long description, long and broad, but there's a word that Allah Ta'ala has given, one word summary of what Allah will give to the people of Jannah. Allah's rahmah surrounds the gathering, the angels surround the gathering. Allah says, my rahmah envelopes the gathering, envelopes and seals. Then Allah says, I give him a reward. Now we praise people in the world, he has a building, he's got this and that. Allah says, now is the reward, I'll tell you for this jamaat in the whole world, in the whole universe, the reward that will be given to these people who are doing this action at this time, this is hadith. This is hadith. So Allah says, I give reward. To this one, what is that reward? It's not the reward of a worldly material thing. I won't give him a plot of land or a building or stories of rent. Allah says, I'll give him the reward of Jannah today. What is that reward? Allah says, the reward is called Sakina. Allah says, in their hearts will come contentment, peace, total peace and tranquility. And the fourth reward, Subhanallah, first the angels descend. Surround the gathering. Allah's rahmah envelopes the gathering. Allah gives sakina in the heart. Allah says, so much do I love these people. The dhakir who have formed the jamaat to remember me. The fourth reward. Just for this feeling of muhabbat of Allah Ta'ala towards this gathering. Allah Ta'ala says, then on top of that, in addition, the reward I'll give is that Allah says, I know every single person. Me, my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, those people who are in the grave. And Allah says, today, due to this gathering of dhikr, they also will get the effects of this gathering of dhikr. Allahu Akbar. They will shriek out in the grave, oh my son, great, my great-grandfather, great-grandmother, everyone who's in the grave, all of our relatives, 
Ah, oh, well, our friends who were with us last year and sat Yusuf Bayi, I remember him, he used to sit in front of me in dhikr. He's also in the grave. But even he'll get the thawab, subhanallah. Subhanallah, because he was connected to dhikr. He had a link with this jamaat of dhikr. He had a link. So then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in addition, that this is the top reward. Allah says, I love this jamaat so much who gathers to remember me that my select elite gatherings from the malaika, Allah says, I will be amongst them and I will praise, I will, I will promote and I will praise the dhakirin amongst those select elite angels. Look, these are my servants in the world. Look at when they are remembering, Allah will say,